success is the institution of excellence for the 101st Airborne Division. Um, you know, I see this organization as the lifeblood. Every officer, non-commissioned officer and soldier that comes through Cal Su, they train on these grounds out here. And uh, we're the first thing they see. So I see Air Assault School as really that building block. Um, the other courses we offer are really those subject matter expertise based courses. So uh, as a soldier continues, gets through Air Assault School, and we train that soldier to become a pathfinder. They're enhancing their skills every step of the way. They get to our insertion based courses, such as Rappel Master, Fries and Spies Master. And then we kick them on out to Pre Ranger and go to Army's Premier Leadership School, um, where our soldiers get back to the line, they cross pollinate, and they flourish. Starting with our Pre Ranger class, uh, day zero again on the 5th of June, and following that Monday, we're starting our first day zero air assault and additionally our first course of Pathfinder. Uh, so what we're blessed with here at the Sabalas Air Assault School is having 81 of the finest NCOs in the division, in my opinion, in the United States Army. Uh, all, all the NCOs here are motivated, uh, physically fit, and want to be the best instructors they can here. What it takes to be there, to be here, uh, is to be motivated. Um, be ready to train uh, the 101st finest every single day and getting after it. One of the things that I, I found coming into this organization is that it is, it is NCO strong. Um, the biggest takeaway that I learned is, is allowing our NCOs to operate with disciplined initiative. Um, when I first took command, I had that tendency to maybe micromanage a little bit and, and get my hands onto things. Um, but once I built trust with those NCOs, watching them execute um, high risk, high visibility training, such as repelling soldiers um, at a UH-60 aircraft on, on the pickup zone, doing nighttime fries operations, um, student-led patrols with PRC, um, as a commander, I, I couldn't be everywhere at once, and just learning to, to trust my NCOs and, and just watching to see what they can do, um, and their discipline initiative was impressive. So as I, I leave this organization, I'm a better leader for it. The advice I would offer him to, is to be humble. Trust the, trust the non-commissioned officers of TSAS, um, and have fun. There's only one Sabaloski Air Assault School commander in the whole United States Army, and, and he's gonna be it. So uh, take advantage of it, um, enjoy your time, and, and work as hard as your instructors work, and then work harder. Because you'll see as these guys uh, run these courses, you have to carry the narrative to division, you have to message division and, and, and tell their story. So, uh, you know, I wish Captain Ben Torgerson all, all, all the best as, as he takes the seat. The greatest challenge I had in command was really trying to describe and define the future of what TSAS looks like uh, three years down the road, five, da five years down the road. Um, there's a lot of change and transition coming about um, in the realm of air assault and, and within the division. As, as I transition with Ben Torgensen, you know, what do we look like in three years? You know, maybe we see barracks out here. Um, maybe we see more instructors. We, we can facilitate 60 classes a year instead of 38. Um, you know, that, that's a challenge for me to, to really describe and understand because it, it's unknown at this point. Um, but that's, that's a good thing because we are gonna grow. Air assault operations are growing more prevalent it is more important, the Army has recognized it, and, and the helicopters are coming to the 101st. So what TSAS looks like in five years, um, I, I think this place is gonna explode. Um, and, and that's just awesome.